Wow. <laughs> it almost knocks me off. Super quick, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, my friend, and welcome back to Satisfactory. This is a ping that's going to hit crude oil about 2,500 meters away. And this is a bridge made of foundations and ramps that goes all the way to that crude oil ping. This is Conveyor Belts Mark 3s, and we're gonna be going into Conveyor Belt Mark 4s today. And there's the pings now, 2,600 meters away, probably about 20 seconds. If you wanna know how fast the ping is, I'm gonna try to catch it. <laughs> You can see there's no way that's going to happen, right? So this setup that I have right here is going to help me facilitate putting together the materials that I need for conveyor belt Mark IVs. Conveyor belt Mark IVs are produced with these things, encased industrial beams. And for that to happen, it's a complex part, right? So it needs to be done in an assembler, and an assembler needs to be fed by steel beams and concrete. So that's the first thing that we need to produce, steel beams and concrete. I have here two belts coming from two separate nodes of limestone with more two miners on them, and two belts with iron that is doing the same thing. So we are going to try to set it up somewhere in this neighborhood to see what we can do. The first thing that we're going to do is try to get four constructors online. So to do that, I'll need to split each belt into two. Meaning that, let's just mark them off with foundations here. I can split this into two, and this into two, and we're just going to put splitters here with the back facing the back, and the same thing here. Alrighty, so let's take one of our, I believe the bottom row is limestone, yeah. Let's take that and feed it into here. And let's take the second one and feed it into there. All right. So now we can have four feeds going into separate constructors. So to do that, we're going to set up the constructors like so. This looks pretty good right here. And this looks pretty good right here. Now we should be able to connect here. And we should be able to connect here. All right. Perfect. Sadly, there's a little bit of stone that's blocking my way here, so I'm gonna have to come up with these that'll make them go a little out of line, but that shouldn't be that big of a difference. And we'll connect. Actually, let's make this a little bit more streamlined. Let's connect it here to here. And then here to here. That makes a little bit more sense. Now, all of these need to be configured to concrete. And the concrete produce at 15 per minute. So with four constructors, we should be getting 60 concrete created per minute. We'll actually have to merge them again and then merge them one last time in order to be fed into one feed in the assembler. So we'll just do that right now. And let's connect the merger. There we go. And we'll do this. And now all of our output is going to be coming in here. I'm going to go ahead and run power to these guys. So now that all the constructors are powered up, we need to consider the other half of this equation, which are foundries. And foundries take up quite a bit of room, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and produce one that goes here. And we're going to put one right next to it and place it here. So we have a coal feed. In fact, we have a couple of coal feeds and we have a couple of iron feeds. And that's really all we need for this particular setup. Let's go ahead and run power to it. And now let's get the conveyors fed to them. So we actually went a little bit further than we needed to with these. Let's go ahead and pull these down. And we'll just feed them right into these guys right here. Now we just need to bring in the coal. And the coal is actually going to be pretty easy, I do believe. All we really need to do for the coal is attach a splitter. I believe if 
we take a splitter from here and another splitter here it's gonna look kind of funny coming in but we can make it work let's make these come down low and see if we could sneak them in right underneath these conveyors whoa <laughs> so nice man so nice all right so these need to be configured to steal and here we go 30 per minute to steal ingots so 60 per minute altogether so now let's set up the constructors for the steel beams and we're gonna put these right in front of the foundries hopefully that they all fit uh, it might be kind of tight here. So I'm not going to have quite enough space for the constructors in front of either one. So I went ahead and backed up the other one. And I think this should still work out just fine. It's just going to be a little bit offset, which is fine. There we go. All right. So two constructors now. And guess what we need to do with these? We need to feed them into a merger and put them into an assembler. So we're going to set the assembler right around here. And we can feed the concrete output into one side of the assembler. And now we're going to merge these two right here. Now the output is going to feed right around here. Let's power this puppy up. Set it to encased industrial beams. And there we go. So it can take 16 steel beams per minute, 20 concrete per minute, and it's going to produce four encased industrial beams per minute. So after watching it for a while, I've decided that it wasn't fast enough because I also want to be able to produce these heavy modular frames that take it. So at the back end of this storage, which I had set up for it, I've got around 300, but if I'm going to be replacing all my conveyor belts with this and using them to produce the heavy modular frames, there's no way. So I moved the stuff around a little bit and I disconnected the, the connector that was merging these two and uh, this is what I'm going to do. I believe I'm going to set up two of the assemblers. One assembler is going to be right here and this should fall in line with my storage all right. There we go. I had to move one of the conveyor belts that I had earlier for coal but that shouldn't be a problem and now I think I'm going to use the stackers to move all of this into the right spots. So what I have right now is this is going to be coming out from the steel and I will not need this, but I am going to need something to stack them. So let's see how I'm going to do this. The first thing I should do is probably set one here. That way they can both connect to it. Go ahead and take this one away and that one away. Now we can move. I have a feeling this is going to be probably a little bit easier. There they go. They're intersected. And now we're going to need to get to both of these. But we can't really clog up the way that uh, the concrete's going to reach it either. So let's do this. Let's just make this one relatively high. I think I'm going to go right on top. Okay. Now I'll take this, run it there. That's going to be too steep. This will be fine. And will we be able to feed it all the way? No. So let's take another one of these. I think I just overlapped it somehow, but whatever. It Just so it works. And can we go up there? Yeah, we sure can. Okay, so now we have concrete 
that's going to be going let's do the concrete on the right side no let's go on the left side with them and this one can go on the left side as well now for the steel we need them to feed in kind of the same way here this should probably be an okay place to link let's go ahead and stack them set the high one to the high one set the low one to the low one and now connect here and connect here it's ugly but I think it's gonna work so let's connect the power and configure these suckers to produce encased industrial beams and now we're going to need a merger so I have to take out the wall right here unfortunately but if we take a conveyor merger and set it down like so then we connect this with this and this with this then we take the belt and connect them right there <laughs> it works now <laughs> we'd like to put our wall back up if we could I can tell you what I'm just gonna put up this type of wall there for now and I'll be happy with it so what we have working here is pretty good we have four encased industrial beams being produced every minute those take four steel beams and we're getting 16 of those per minute so we should be right on the money and after a couple minutes our supply is getting pretty good so I'm pretty interested how this looks now that we have enough materials to really look at putting some of this stuff together so let's take the conveyor mark 4 and stretch it as much as it'll let us go and I'd like to be able to ride out to I don't know let's ride out to about here alright so first of all is there any way we can <laughs> no 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 you can't run against it you really can't run against a level 3 either but I'm really psyched to see how crazy this is alright are we ready oh my god <laughs> it's so fast it is so fast I love it so moving materials man is gonna be super 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 easy let me go ahead and take these down it would be so cool to do like a parkour track with this type of stuff maybe one day on stream we'll set it up to where viewers could come in and we could do some conveyor belt parkour racing or something like that so let's go over here and move a little bit of stuff around so one thing I would love to do is get all of these modular frames and move them over to my central storage where the rest of my factory is all right I have just about a straight shot set up with this I'm gonna go ahead and connect them right here and I'm just gonna jump on and count to see how long it actually is going to take because we have an, an entire inventory pretty much just about an entire inventory and um, I am just really interested to see how fast this is gonna be so here we go Wow <laughs> it almost knocks me off alrighty oh and we stopped alright how long is it gonna take to get here now Here they come. All right, that is super quick, man. Super quick. Let's see it stack. 
Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Great to move items from container to container, that's for sure. Holy crap, man. So looking at the cost of heavy modular frames, we would need to bring those modular frames that we just transported, steel pipe that we already have being produced, the encased industrial beams that we've put together, and probably an entirely separate section for screws, and put them together in a manufacturer, which takes three computers, 25 cable, two motors, and two of the modular frames. Not that bad. If we put everything together and let it stack up, I'm pretty sure that we could do this in a relatively decent amount of time, but that is gonna have to wait until the next video or live stream. I hope you guys really enjoy the video. Catch me live on twitch.tv slash Zul'jin if you don't already follow me there. We have a lot of fun and I'd love to see you. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zul'jin signing off and we'll see you next time. Break it down.